Are you guys vacuuming the floor? Wow. <laughs> we got a little Dyson vacuum. <laughs> Great way to start the day, eh, Benny? Just cleaning up. Love it. So it's gonna be a busy day because it's August 1st. The Lego store is opening shortly here. We're heading there, of course, because there's like, I don't know, 70 or 80 new products coming out. So gotta go pick and choose what I wanna get there. Uh, this morning, I was just placing some orders online, some pick and build orders. Um, I need some more of the uh, large Technic 16 by 16 plates for the mountainside. And they just did the, or they just issued the new GWP, like they relaunched the space launch pad or whatever it's called, with like the little mini spaceman. Yeah, thanks, buddy. He wants me to read them, Dr. Soups. So I, I placed that order. I also placed another order for some tiles and stuff like that. But then after I finish up, but... Millie, can you give him the vacuum back, please? He really wants the vacuum. He really wants that. That's why he's crying. Oh, you want it too. We're gonna have to get two Dysons. I know, she took your vacuum. I know, believe me, when you can actually vacuum, you can take my vacuum anytime you want. I'll let you vacuum anytime you want, I promise. Uh, but yeah, after I finish up the Lego store, I've gotta go to uh, Ikea, then there's also Mastermind Toys. So I got a bunch of running around today, and so I've got a bunch of running around to do today, and that's what we're gonna do. So it was a great morning at the Lego store. Just finished up there and got some good stuff, so. We've got the uh, Batmobile, which is good. I think that's going to match up with some of the other ones in the collection. GWP, some parts. I'm sure if you watch that video, then you already know what I got. Doesn't mean I won't head back into the Lego store and have a look at this Harbor set. I really want to get that. <laughs> I don't know. Same with the Jungle Explorer because it comes with these silverback gorillas. I could probably get those from like the pick a brick area online. And this uh, construction crane looks pretty sick too. I want to get that, I don't know. I don't know if it's required for the city at this point. This is one of the new Star Wars sets that I didn't get. It comes with really cool figures. Included in that is the exclusive one. It's $210, I really should get one of those. Same with the P1, I'll have to get this at some point. And I think the uh, Technic G-Wagon as well. I sort of want to get the Triwizard Tournament, the Arrival as well. I feel like that's a really cool display set for the Harry Potter scene. Or what I could do, is just get some Japanese cheesecake. This just opened up in the mall here. I've heard great things about it. I've arrived at the Swedish furniture store and I was immediately greeted by a happy surprise. Look at this. The drawer unit, the Alex, the ones that I need for underneath the parts there just because I want to clean up the studio. $130 regular, 160 bucks. Saving $30 a unit right now. That is pretty awesome. So what I do with these units is I put all my overflow parts in here. So I bag out all my overflow parts and I put them in the drawers and I need like a few of these for sure. And to see them for $30 off is just excellent. I wanna pair those up with the Alex storage unit, which is essentially the same thing, but rather than being drawers, it's shelves. And check it out. Ikea family price, $49, regular $79. That is excellent. That is great savings right here. So these ones can just be used to store anything. Like that is a steal. It's gonna clean up underneath those, uh, those cabinets just so much, like underneath my drawer units. I'm so excited about getting these. Problem is, is I don't know how many I need. I literally didn't like do the bath before coming here because I didn't think I would get enough to you know, complete the project because there'd be so many of them. But seeing this price makes me want to do it. And look, it's only valid until August 7th. After that, they're going to go back up $30, which is, you know, a pretty significant price decrease or price increase. So I just watched one of my videos and I took a still of like my parts area there. And it looks like I need approximately 12 of them and I could go up to 16. You know, even 12, not bad. That's 600 bucks. It's gonna improve the look a lot, but then it, I've gotta decide if I wanna do the drawer units because the drawer units are better, but they're like more than double the price. So it depends on what I wanna get. Also, the drawer units are uh, harder to put together because there's more components, but I don't think I should factor that in. 
I love just being an aggressive human being. <laughs> Check it out. We're getting nine of the uh, cabinets and then three of the drawer units. I just think it's going to transform the studio. It's going to give us more space for concealed storage, more space for parts overflow. It's going to tidy stuff up. It's going to hide all that stuff which is currently on the shelf so I can display more awesome sets. It's going to be totally worth it. I know it's a big investment, but it's going to look crazy good over there. So you can't look at the price. You got to look at the savings. Look at the savings. 270 not bad. It's like a reward. Took the restrictor plates off the Honda so she can handle it. Just finished up a Mastermind Toys. Nothing too crazy. You know, they had some of the new sets in there, but I was actually picking up my order that I placed not too long ago. And that's for all these base plates. Like, look at all those base plates. That is fantastic. So the deal was buy one, get one 40% off. So essentially all these were $8, which is 20% off. Not bad at all for some good base plates. Now I realize that I can get base plates from the dollar store, but they're not gonna be Lego base plates. Therefore, they just don't work out as well. I find the clutch power is too strong. Sometimes they like bow in the middle. It's just not worth it. I know they're like way cheaper, but I've done that in the past and they were just sort of gross. Also the color of them isn't the same. I don't know, maybe they've changed since I bought off-brand base plates I did a long time ago, but from what I remember, my experience with them wasn't that good. So that's why I choose to use brand base plates. Yeah. All right, now we're going to the studio. I actually lied, we're going to the dollar store to pick up some base plates. No, I'm just kidding, not base plates. I need some more things. I need some more plastic containers for part storage. So there's these ones, which are excellent. I have very few of them. So I'm gonna get most of these other than the broken one there. Uh, that's four by eight inches. These ones are great too. These are four by four inches. Looks like there's some more four by fours up there. Some of the longer ones here too. Two by eight inches, I think. So yeah, they got a good selection right now and these fit perfectly in my uh, drawer units. So yeah, I gotta get a bunch more of those. Well, here's something I really don't feel like doing, carrying all 12 of those heavy boxes way up there. Yeah, they weigh like 50 pounds each. I'm not looking forward to that. There we go, I did it. Hold them all up here. Oh my gosh, I did drop one of them and it went tumbling down the stairs. It just slipped right out of my hands. Ah, feels good to get them all up here though. Now I just need to whip them all out of their packaging and assembly line style build them. Get it all done in one shot. Definitely not gonna do that today though. Here's all the plastic containers that I got from the dollar store there. Definitely worth it. Big stack of those, big stack of these. And then unfortunately they only had this many. You know, I have enough for all my drawers, but I keep running out. Like when I wanna go do some sorting or if I want to expand one of the containers or if one's so full that I wanna dump it into a container, it's just necessary to have all these containers. They're not bad, like they're, uh, reasonable like that this one here is uh two bucks and these ones are a buck and a quarter so it wasn't bad these were all like 60 bucks or something like that totally worth it and then i've got all these base plates <laughs> we're pretty much good to go now i would think that this would cover the majority of the city i'm not sure if it's going to cover the medieval area but with that said i've got all these blue ones and my goal is to do a perimeter of blue around the entire medieval area so the majority of these blue ones are going to go toward that so the other day i started working on the gravel road over here and i didn't complete it i didn't put the wedge plates on the edge nor did i add the texture to the gravel road as you can see there's not very much like texture on there it's mostly just exposed brown plate right now and I realize that the zoom on this camera is not good. So right now I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's probably one of the better vlogging cameras, but the zoom on it is terrible. It just gets very pixelated. That's because it's not an optical zoom, it's a digital zoom. And I definitely want to upgrade my camera. My camcorder is pretty good. I've yet to use that in the studio here. I don't know why. Actually, you know why I use this camera so much? It's because it's so small and compact. It's like perfect for vlogging. Also, I think the colors are really good. Like the colors are way better than my camcorder. And I just think it's a great all around camera. Honestly, I've been researching uh, mirrorless cameras over the last two weeks. I am leaning toward a Sony product with a nice lens, 
but even when I get a mirrorless camera, it's not like I'm gonna be hauling the mirrorless camera to the Wego store, like there's no way I'm gonna be doing that. I've still been using this camera quite a bit, but I have been doing quite a bit of research and I am eventually gonna buy a mirrorless camera. I uh, just, for some reason, haven't really done it yet. So it's funny, when I was um, building that gravel road yesterday on the reddish brown plate, I didn't texture it. And I actually pulled all of the parts intending to texture it, I just ran out of time. So here's all the parts that I pulled to texture those reddish brown plates. I got some one by one tiles, the circular ones in light gray, then there's all sorts of studs in various colors, like dark gray, dark tan, tan, uh, some metallic ones there, and all these different colors. And then there's also the quarter round uh, tiles, those are great. I've got a lot of those from the pad wall and some two by two circular plates. So I was intending on texturing the entire road using all of those pieces. I just never got around to doing it. And I actually extracted a bunch of the two by two circular reddish brown tiles just because I didn't think they looked that good. Ultimately, what I would like to do for the gravel road would be to use, I think dark tan would give you the best the resemblance of a gravel road. That's all the dark tan plate that I have. It wouldn't get me very far, but this would ultimately look the best because the reddish brown plate, it sort of looks like wet gravel or like dirt almost. I think dark tan would look better or maybe even tan, but it's just a matter of having all of the pieces to do that. This looks like a lot, but I don't think it would actually get us that far. I could switch to tan or dark tan, but why don't we test something in reddish brown? So here's what the gravel road looks like before all of the texture, and I'm filming right now with my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And here it is after. When I first constructed the gravel road in the last video, I think I forgot to mention the fact that I planned on texturing the entire road. There was quite a bit of concern in the uh, comment section saying, hey, that does not look very good at all. You're terrible at building gravel roads. Like, wow, you suck. And I was like, okay, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to mention the fact that I was going to texture the entire thing with various parts, just like this. Because I removed all the two by two circular tiles and I just forgot to replace them with the parts that I planned on replacing them with. And once again, I didn't have the uh, wedge plates on the edge to give it that nice shape. So now I've added those wedge plates and I've also replaced those parts. And I'm recording with my old school camera that I used to use for like everything. This is my, uh, Sony AX53 camcorder. I really like it. The zoom on it is incredible. You can see the difference. This is what I would call optical zoom versus digital zoom. You can actually read the Lego logo on all of those studs. Definitely a lot better uh, than the Osmo Pocket 3, but not really a vlog camera. But I will say I should start using this more often. And maybe if I start using this more often, I, I will eliminate the need for the... Um, mirrorless camera just because we can get so many great shots. But you can see how the color, in my opinion, is not quite as good as the DJI camera that I was using. So you know it's give and take with those, with that sort of thing. But I think this is uh, substantially better. Like that compared to, once again, what it looked like before. Yeah, I completely forgot to mention the fact that I was not gonna leave it like that. <laughs> Like, obviously, that's terrible. Even the uh, gravel road before looked much better than that. I had removed a bunch of the parts when I removed the underlaying plate and also, once again, those two by two circular tiles. I think that looks killer. I just gotta make sure that I have enough parts to do that, like, everywhere. And I think the reddish brown actually does look good underneath it, so I can stick with using the reddish brown plate that I have laid out everywhere. But yeah, I gotta make sure I have enough parts to uh, complete the texturing. And I gotta make sure I have enough time too, because believe me, that doesn't happen uh, as quickly as you would think. It takes a long time to uh, lay all those parts. So there's the new and improved gravel road beside the existing one. That's what I was intending on doing. Much, much, much better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I am uh, pretty pleased with that. And I don't think the reddish brown needs to change. I think that's beauty. You can barely tell that the reddish brown is there in fact. So now I need to go around and place all of those base plates and then I need to start developing pretty much every bill plate. Hey, I built this hill the other day, and that's something I wanna improve, similar to what I did with the gravel road. That does not look very good at all. <laughs> it needs to be improved in the biggest way. I was thinking maybe I could go around and place traffic lights and minifigures and vehicles and all that stuff in the downtown core as well, because there's not gonna be very many changes that actually happen in this region. Most of the changes are gonna happen over here. 
Uh, there was also somebody who said that, hey, like one of my least favorite mocks of yours is the zoo. I just want to let you know that the zoo is not done. <laughs> Maybe 20% at most, believe me. I, I know it doesn't look uh, very good right now. Eventually it'll be fully detailed, similar to the, you know, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves mills plate, how that looks. So it'll be fully detailed like that there. I think that looks pretty sweet. And uh, if you look at the existing zoo, that's sort of a better representation of what the zoo is going to uh, look like as well. I, it's funny, I placed that Snow White and the Seven Dwarves set, and then I realized, uh-oh, I love Grumpy right here. He's all grumpy. He's all on his lonesome. So I should be saying that, hey, we're going to work on the LEGO City tomorrow, but unfortunately, I just can't continue working on the LEGO City until I fix this mess because it is... Uh, not looking good up here. It's not looking nearly as good as it should, in my opinion, and it's really been bothering me. And that's why I decided to invest in these cabinets. So the next thing I need to do is just build all these cabinets and I'm gonna be taking care of that tomorrow. Those cabinets are gonna run underneath these parts all the way along. It's something I, I said that I wanted to do ever since sort of developing up here. I knew that eventually one day I would do it. And I think that's really gonna help this area. It's gonna look so much better when all this stuff, these bags of parts are neatly stowed away in the cabinets or in the drawers and all of these boxes full of stuff are, you know, either broken down, neatly stowed away. All this stuff just needs to be put behind some cabinetry and then I'll put some sets here. And there'll still be some boxes here, like guaranteed there'll still be, you know, things like, I don't know, full, things that don't fit in the cabinets, for example. I've got these bins of Lego that need to be sorted. Those aren't gonna fit in the cabinets, but for the most part, a lot of it will, but I don't know if the Ikea boxes full of Lego parts will have to go in the cabinets because they look sort of presentable. I just wanna make sure that whatever is out here is presentable. It's funny, when I built this place, I said, I don't really care what it looks like up here. It doesn't matter what it looks up up here because this is where I'm gonna be doing the majority of my building and my sorting and this is just like the workspace. This is where I'm gonna have my mess and then down here is gonna be all clean and presentable. But now I just, like moving forward with that, I was like, yeah, I, I can't really look at this either. I need, I need to make sure that this place is clean and presentable as well. And in order to do that, I need the right system. So that's why I uh, picked up all those cabinets. See, it's sort of hard going vlog style with this heavy old camcorder here. I like this camcorder though, it's pretty cool. Like I do, uh, I do enjoy using it. The zoom is so fun to play with. I'm so scared of buying one of these professional cameras because I don't think it's gonna be as user friendly as the cameras that I enjoy. Like the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is so user friendly. This thing here is so user friendly. You just, like I haven't been using this for a long time and I just open it up and boom, it's ready to go. The battery's not dead, nothing. It's just a beauty camera. Like it's awesome, you know? I really do like, this style of thing, but I've got to figure out what kind of mirrorless camera I want to buy because I think that's the next piece of equipment that I want to buy. But those cameras for the good ones with the lens can range up to like four or five thousand dollars. So it's it's pretty intense if you ask me, and you got to do a lot of research before uh, you dive into it. That's really about it for today, though. Everybody just wanted to take you along on the journey as we uh, picked up some stuff for uh, the Lego Studio and also improved the gravel room. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a fantastic day and stay tuned. Farewell.